Hey folks, uh, today's video tutorial we're going to talk about how to make professional sounding voiceovers using GarageBand and iMovie. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. This is kind of the way that uh, I found it to be easiest. Uh, if you open up GarageBand, um, you can go through um, all these different categories. You're going to want to click on voice. Um, I have a project that I'm going to open up just for this tutorial. Let this open up. Okay, so uh, so first off, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can use. Um, if you want to add any sort of sound effects for this one, uh, I added some uh, broadcast sounding uh, effect. You can find that in the cinematics tab, uh, and that's the broadcast news long. Alright, that's great. Um, and then when you are ready to make your voiceover sounds, or you're ready to record, you're going to want to go down here, click on your track. You're going to want to press this record button. I'll do it over here so I don't mess up my other tracks. Hey, hello, how's it going everyone? This is my voiceover tutorial. And once you're done, you can move that wherever you want it to be. If you're making beats, if you're uh, a music artist, this is really helpful. Um, but just for um, the purpose of this video tutorial, for people who aren't familiar with GarageBand, um, you can go ahead and click uh, on the, the voice track that you just made. You can go down, click on this I button, there we are. Ooh. And you'll have all these different vocal uh, effects that you can add. Uh, for this one, I put Epic Diva. Um, I don't really know why, but uh, play around with those. There's a lot of really cool video effects um, that you can, or sound effects that you can use. But uh, once you're done, you want to save your project, exit out of it, and make sure you save it to iLife um, as an iLife piece. So, want to save it, and then Yes, I want to save it with the iLife preview, yes. So then you can go over to your iMovie, and just for the sake of it, I have my own little video of me scaring this guy, which you guys will see here in a sec. You're going to want to go to these tabs, and you want to click on this music tab. You're going to open up that GarageBand tab, which you can find in here, and I'm going to go down. This track that I just made was a uh, voiceover tutorial one. I'm going to just take this, place it over. I want it to be over the whole track. You can put it over just parts of the video, but uh, it's really simple and easy to do. And uh, if you integrate it with GarageBand, you can really get the timing of this, the sound with the video um, as you're watching it. So here's a preview. And that concludes this video segment. If you have any questions about doing voiceovers, working with GarageBand or iMovie, uh, shoot me a comment underneath this video. I usually get back to people within uh, the next couple of days. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If there's any other things that you have questions with um, or you want me to make a movie about, uh, just shoot me a comment.